Welcome to Art Starts Explores. I'm Kay, and I work at Art Starts as a gallery coordinator and preparator. I started the Explores program three years ago, and I'm excited to bring a version online that can be enjoyed by families across the province. Every month, we select a new theme to explore through our weekly Saturday workshops and performance series. This month, we're going to explore mark making. Mark making is a term that can mean a lot of different things while also being something really simple. It's just you making a mark. Your mark. So whether that means a dot on a page or a scuff on your shoe, or a deliberate line or gesture in a drawing, or an intricate pattern for a piece of art, mark making, at its heart, is really simple. It's a mark that you made. Our online series encourages you to explore visual art making themes with us, with family and friends, with your classmates, and on your own. There is no one way or right way to explore being creative. But if you've never joined us for Explorers Online or in our gallery space before, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the three rules or guidelines we like to follow. First is respect. We practice respect for ourselves by listening to how we feel, respect for others by listening and sharing, respect for the land by acknowledging the nations and indigenous people who have served and continue to serve as guardians and stewards of the land, and by doing our best to be respectful guests as we learn and play here. Second is no expectations. Try not to plan too much before trying something today. If we get a picture in our heads of how something should turn out, we can be disappointed with ourselves when it doesn't. Try practicing surprise and always ask yourself, I wonder what will happen if I... Third is that nothing is for keeps. In the gallery in Vancouver, we like to say, take nothing home with you except your experience. But since many of you are at home now, we challenge you to unmake everything you try today. This means... After you finish trying something, try to disassemble or take it apart so you can use it again for something else. Try not to make any completed thing, and whenever possible, pull from your recycling bin to practice. And if it can still be recycled when you're done, put it back. Trying something new doesn't need to make something for keeps, and that's just what we're practicing today. What's really fun about mark making is that you can be creative without having a specific end goal in mind. It welcomes any kind of exploration with any kind of tool that lets you leave a mark. Talk about possibilities. If you've ever held a pencil, marker, or crayon and use it to draw, write, or scribble, you've already practiced mark making. But the same is true if you've ever made marks in or with your food, or scuffed your shoe through some sand or dirt. That's another cool thing about mark making. There are so many tools and surfaces you can use to explore. For today, let's explore something a little more traditional together. But I encourage you to think about, and when you have permission, try as many different combinations of tools and surfaces as you can to practice making a mark. For this activity, let's find a mark-making tool that fits in your hand and would leave a mark on a white piece of paper. That could be a pencil, or a pen, or a marker, or a crayon. And a white piece of paper. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect or a new piece of paper. If you pulled it from the recycling bin, it could have writing already on one side, or it could be crinkled, ripped or have holes in it. As long as you have some space to make a mark, you've got a mark-making practice surface. All ready? Let's start by making a mark. No rules. Just use your tool to make any kind of mark on the page. If you can see your mark, look at it. Is it dark or light? Is it thick or thin? Look at the start and the end of your mark. What do you notice? Try exploring your mark without your eyes. If you can see your mark, close your eyes. 
What does your mark feel like? Does it smell? Can you hear your mark? Can you picture or sense your mark without looking at it? Do you remember what it felt like to draw the mark? What do you notice? When you've explored your mark enough and have asked yourself some questions to help you understand and learn about the mark you made, make a new mark. But this time, make it as different as you possibly can. When you were asking yourself questions, what did you notice? Try doing the opposite of what you noticed. If you made a heavy mark, try making a thin or light mark. If you made a curved mark, try to make a straight one. If you couldn't feel the mark with your fingers, try making a mark you can feel. When you feel like you've made a completely different mark, compare the two. What's the same? What's different? Now let's make one more mark. Choose one of the marks you made. We're going to copy it, but this time we're not going to look at our paper. You could close your eyes or you could look at your mark making tool, but try not to focus on the surface that we're drawing on. Think about all the things you explored about your previous marks. Can you remake the mark by thinking about how you did it? If you are making with someone else, you could play this exploration game with them too. Ask them to make a mark and then exchange your papers. Look, touch, smell, listen, share your observations, and then see if you can create the marks made by someone else. Even if you get really close and make a mark that is similar, there's probably something different because you made it. So even if it looks the same, you know that it isn't because you made that mark. So next time someone copies your picture or your work, you can feel good about it because your work, your marks inspired someone else, which is really awesome. But also it was your arm or mouth or hand or however you made your mark that's unique to you. There are lots of ways you can explore mark making, and I've just suggested a few. Be sure to download our activity resource guide this month for additional questions you can ask each other, and some words you can use to challenge yourself when you're playing with mark making. And don't forget, when you're all done playing and exploring, try to take things apart and put them away again so that the only thing that is left behind are the experiences and pictures in your brain. I hope you enjoyed this month's theme introduction video. We will be hosting live visual art making sessions on mark making for the next three Saturdays at 11 a.m. where you can make with me wherever you are and ask questions. Be online at facebook.com slash artstarts around 11 in the morning and you'll see our workshop streams go live. We save all our workshop videos after as well so you can check out one of our past workshops anytime and again with friends. On the last Saturday of the month, we'll have a live online performance on Facebook Live by one of the performing and touring artists in the Art Starts directory. There's always something free to explore and play along with on Saturdays at 11 a.m. online with Art Starts Explorers. All families, young learners, guardians, friends, and creative folks of all ages are welcome to join us online. <laughs>